subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for latest updates. Andre Day talks love lessons on Cassandra, her first album in nine years. Andre Day is over putting up with men's crap. One of her methods for shaking off romantic dilemmas is calling out her suitor's mess on her latest album. This season of my life, it's just like, kiss my ass, bro, she says with a sneering grin. But I'm also trying to be accountable. Fittingly titled Cassandra, Kurith, after her birth name, Cassandra Monique Badier, the singer-actress's first solo record since 2015's Cheers to the Fall is her most personal soul and R&B outing yet. Day's new album, out May 10, is laden with poignant stories rooted in the 39-year-old's personal growth and search for a deeper sense of self-love and faith over the past nine years. In Cassandra, she lays bare her emotions on romantic love gained and lost, and the beauty, and havoc, that often ensues between the stages of bliss, heartbreak, and clarity. A devout Christian, Day included the biblical term Kurith as part of her album's title to signify the act of isolation as a means to become whole. I feel like I have been in the wilderness for a while, she admits over Zoom, before adding that creating this album has been a process of learning myself. When Day's musical career took off in the mid-2000s after the San Diego native caught the attention of Stevie Wonder, she remembers being asked at the time which artist's career she wanted to emulate. Back then, She'd said Sade, though she was sure she'd avoid also being the type of artist who releases an album about every 10 years. Yet, here we are.